Hello everyone, before going into today's video, I want you to know that I released on Mobile Fire a massive Talia guide with over 30 pages of content, over 40 matchups and over 30 synergies with information on runes, builds, win conditions, roaming, gang pets and much much more. You have the link in the description below and feel free to check it out whenever you need help and uh, leave an upvote if it did help you. I will also answer all the questions you have guys in the comments or on Discord or wherever you want and I'll also be there for you if you need me. Thank you very much and let's go to the video. Hello everyone, my name is Romaten. Today we're going to do a tutorial on Jungle Tulia so we can all learn how to play Tulia there as well. There are a lot of players who play uh, her on mid lane and secondary they have her on jungle or reverse there are a lot of players who have her on the main uh, jungle and uh, the secondary on the mid lane so we're going to do some um, Tilia jungle gameplay to a tutorial and I'm going to show you how I do now I play with Dark Harvest, Cheap Shot, Ravenous Hunter, Eyeball Collection, Water Walking and Transcendence some people get instead of Transcendence the other rune they get uh, absolute focus and also I have attack speed and armor. Uh, why is why is more the guys here? I mean. Don't know exactly what's happening, but it's fine, I suppose. Now, for the starting. Uh, for the starting ways of the game uh, I started uh, red because there is a Nocturne and if Nocturne follows me towards uh, towards this uh, buff if I start blue and he comes to red buff now it's uh, there would be a great chance that he would actually kill me so we have to play around that by just going uh, here and abusing as much as we can our uh, farming because if he catches us we are pretty much guaranteed dead so we have to play with uh, with our strengths and that's the main thing that you should do now I'm also going this way because I don't want surprises now we're doing the standard rotation you also can see some kiting here and there especially on the golems not so much on red buff you can kite blue buff though with uh, with uh, the red buff uh, so you can basically do uh, blue without getting hit so that's another interesting thing that you should try so basically if I go now blue uh, I could uh, do it without actually getting damaged so the rotation is uh, blue and then seeing the herald uh, sorry the scuttle and then moving around there now we expect to be we expect not to be around there or towards my blue for some reason uh, and my bot lane did not bother to help me much but we're okay we didn't miss that much normally we should have a word around here so that we can play accordingly but this is the case in which our blue got stolen and now we can see actually Nocturne having blue buff there okay so no problem uh, he might even have started that Problem here. We're actually interested in ganking bot now. So just do this. Excellent setup. This is a free kill for me, even if she flashes. Okay. Back. It's good. Now it's a good thing that I took the kill because if I wouldn't do that, Nami would have killed her. So we have to start somewhere. There is also something happening here. Okay, this is a free kill on me. For me. I mean, she would probably recall. Okay. There is no rights here. There is no problem. Okay. We're moving around the mid lane as much as we can. Apparently, she didn't flash time but she should have still not a problem now 
Twisted Fate gets killed here because he has no flash. Oh my god, he doesn't get killed apparently. And honestly, I'd expect now a Nocturne to come around, uh, but apparently he just goes there. So, we're going for the second time uh, golems. You should do this as much as you can. This is your main source of everything. If you want to see a replay of uh, how strong they are, just look at the planes game where the Kiana got out farmed by a Lissin so hard, but basically she got two times this camp and then she basically came again, came back in the game and had no problem. I don't remember exactly which teams, but it was in planes, just search for Kiana games. Now also, we're doing the second round of rights. The only problem is that without uh, Ignite, I don't really, uh, sorry, without my, oh my god, okay, now I go, I'm good, I'm good. We are very good now. So basically what you want to do against any champion, you should uh, try to focus on your, uh, get, on your, well, item, jungler item, this is your target, and... You should get it as fast as you can, then you should instantly switch to Oracle Lance as I did there. Uh, I'm not sure... Okay, that happened. I'm not sure how Nocturne even died there, why was he there? And Yeah, you get the point. Now I'm going to clear this part of the jungle because I don't have golems or brights and I'm not really interested in red that much as I am in this blue, but first... Actually I'm gonna take the blue first. We're going to be interested in taking that uh, scuttle if it's there as well. See, you can kite this perfectly without even getting damaged. Now we're going to get the scuttle, we're going to do some perfect sweet farming here. And then we're moving mid lane because Syndra is getting killed here easily. Now this is another free kill for us here, she is even her main spell. Now we have to help Mordekaiser push this. So we have to do it as fast as you can. Every time you get a successful gank, just push the lane, help your team. Now I'm moving towards bot lane even though my farm is supposed to be on the, the red because I expect honestly a Nocturne ult here and I want to be close exactly this is exactly what happened here and we got the free kill and this is how you actually read the map I flashed here because I actually expect to get a shit ton of damage on my head but it's not a problem because Jin now got double buff and we actually got the advantage uh, honestly it's a good thing to give shutdowns if you win the fight it's a good thing to give shutdowns very important to their uh, support especially if it's tank support the useless one mostly that will not be able to deal damage you can get a kill here uh, never mind uh, so the mistake here is that they did not back off in time and Nocturne gank bot so they got some advantage here and now i'm gonna clear this top side part of the jungle and i'm going to help twisted fate but now if we are to be honest malphite has an ult so you have to play around your strengths even though there is a stun on that twisted fate if malphite ults before the stun goes he escaped okay there is no way we can actually kill him if he's good so we can actually focus around the mid and bot top uh, side of the map, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna get this. And the last one. Okay, so we're getting right now, we're getting that right on cooldown, as uh, I actually preach that's the most important thing that you should do. And we can start looking towards that, uh, towards the scuttle, because there might be follow up from Nocturne. So we get another kill on Nocturne here. Now we move on this guy. Okay, we for 
course the flash. And the next thing we really have to do is to help uh, him push. It doesn't matter if you take farm, just try to generally not take the cannon because the cannon is uh, very rude to take. Uh, but yeah, if uh, the mid laner allows you, take it. If not, well. Now the Nocturne is pretty predictable, but in most cases you should be careful playing around this. But for some reason, just his fate died there. So we can get a plate here. Let's look how close it is to the. Yeah, okay. Now, problem is that now on bot lane there are some situations, but we got the kill on Nocturne, I think. Actually, more the Kaiser killed him. We get some free plates here, we have to abuse that. And we also ping that. He needs to come down here so that uh, mid lane is also protected. Uh, what I also want to point out is that you should mostly play around bot lane. I went up because I've seen the opportunity to get a free kill and I just did it. Now if, uh, if Nocturne ults me, I'm gonna die. I don't know why Twisted Fade did not come there and mid with his ult. You should have, but I can actually go here now. So, simple gank, we try to pass it towards him. And we also now move towards that first tower. And if Nocturne ults, we can just E and he will E through. Uh, and he will ult through the E and he will probably die. We can just E from now because. Okay, get some more farm. Okay. And now we back off. That's simple. Just be careful. Uh, never mind. I mean, he still wins 1 versus 2, but. Okay, so we got the item from Fort Jungle. We also get some magic resist, sorry, not some magic resist, some uh, Zonia. Uh, and we build also towards Oblivion Orb. Oblivion Orb and Sork Shoes are your core items. Uh, and first of all, actually, the jungle item, well, that's the core, and then the Oblivion, okay, and this is the order. Now I'm going bot because there is some plates opportunity. Basically, they are having free plates here. Oh my god, that's that's insane, buddy. Okay, we got the killing spree here, and now we're moving towards bot lane because we want to also get some plates from there. Uh, most of the time, you should uh, you should try to get drakes if they are important or Heralds. Obviously, if you get the first Drake, even if it's not important, you're gonna get the second one then, and that one might be important, so you have to play with that in mind. If the first Drake is not that good, maybe the next one and the next one are going to be good. Now, I have Flash here, that's why I play like this, and also Jin is coming. So, if he jumps on me now, you're not having any problems. What is Jin doing? See? So we also we predicted that. Okay. Ah, we're dead. That roam from Syndra was perfect. We don't have any vision in the river, so she simply went bot now. This might be a bad idea. We are all interested in what's going to happen here. But nothing might happen. Because he didn't cast hold for some reason. So yeah. Now we're interested in getting... Okay, everyone is in team. We're interested in getting that sweet, sweet uh, Zonia. Because there is a Nocturne. There is a Syndra. There is a Malphite. There are a lot of factors that uh, can actually make us lose if they one-shot me. Because I'm the most fed in team. So yeah. We're doing a full clear again now. 
and we're also checking for Nocturne My journey is not yet at an end. because he could have come here and take some of this stuff but he's probably he's probably just uh, on top of that twisted fit okay so we got the first camp and now we're moving towards the next one and so on and I probably don't have a blue buff now so uh, I think we do that this clear and we move bot we try to get the shutdown on that jinx which we eventually will but more, more importantly okay I have a blue buff that's good more importantly we should kill that I thought he was going to attack it so I panic smite if I don't want my ADC to steal my camps. Also, you can see that there is a two level difference, so that's pretty good. But also, we have to be careful now. Yeah, they stole that. Be careful, please. So, all in all, you got the runes, you got the build. I mean, you see the build that I'm going for. You see how I macro it, how I play around vision. there and another one I'm dealing lots of damage so it's a good idea to actually focus on their jinx now a stupid idea would be now to go for the Drake there is absolutely no point to go for the Drake when you have so yeah you go for the towers There are three towers in question. We usually go for the towers. And now we go for Drake because there is no follow up on that Drake, okay? Nocturne is low HP, ca they cannot possibly stop me unless Nocturne ults, and he, he would be stupid if he would ult because even if he takes it, he basically suicides, and this Drake is not that important for me to care. The only mistake is. If I get stolen by other sources. So now we caught them here, basically. But yeah, I went actually too deep and into it. <laughs> Don't do that, that was stupid. I thought I already had Zonia. I do not have Zonia already, so that was a mistake on my side. And also, I did not flash and kill Jinx instantly. So. That was a small misplay from me and some gold to that Jinx. Uh, there is no objective to lose now uh, around the map, so that's good. Besides maybe Herald, but Herald is kind of pointless now. They could get one tower with it, but it's not that useful. So this is the first major mistake that I do. And I got caught here randomly. But we're still good, we're still two levels ahead. And that's what interests us, that's what we want. And we want to one shot that Jinx every fight or to one shot Nocturne when he's flying towards us because we have the level advantage and we have everything that we need to actually perform such actions. Okay. Never mind. And now we can also take uh, Herald, because it's, it's exactly in our path. I'm gonna put Bird here. Now, when clearing Herald, you can also kite as I do. You should always wait for his auto attack, and when uh, get, he gets that reddish thing on his back, you just go behind him, auto attack, and then you find another spot to actually use your full Q, and then you find another spot, and another spot, and uh, like that. When he when he charges that attack, you can get a free auto attack on his back, so that's very important. Okay, and now there is a free kill on the Malphite. Oops. <laughs> I thought I had a word. Uh, no problem. We're actually still killing him. Am 
actually lagging a bit here now. So maybe save me. Oops, that was a good dodge. That was a bit of a reflex sort of thing, but okay, that was close. I completely and accidentally <laughs> casted that herald because I'm not used to it. Maybe we get another hit there. We got it? Excellent. So, he did his job, even though I misplaced it horrendously. Uh, Nocturnal, maybe, so I have to play. Have to play around that. Now, don't do what I just did here. What I did wrong is that I actually put myself in range uh, for a Nocturne ult, and I. Uh, use my W on the creep, so that's a mistake, since if I use my W I will have no protection against that Nocturne, even though okay, just hitting now. well he got the kill on me, I still got the kill back, it's a bad thing that I got the shutdown on my head but Malphite got caught by my team as well, now, even if he has flash Tisted Fate could have followed with ult. Really hope they don't start randomly that Baron. So now you ask what's the next item that we want. It's either Twin Shadows or maybe Riley's, or Void Staff in case they have tons of magic resist. And they start building tons of magic resist slowly. Like you can see here. But the ADC does not, so I could either go for Riley's to kite and survive more, go for Twin Shadows. Which kind of accomplishes the same thing and also has cooldown reduction. So what you'd go here for? I'm going for Twin Shadows for the cooldown reduction. I should also buy a Vision Word instead of that. I don't have time to reach that fight regardless, so I'm gonna get two Vision Words. I'm gonna start pinging to go for Baron because we're at the point in which they do not have absolutely any chance. And this gene goes for other things than, that ba than Baron some reason even though we're winning very hard here he decides to not help us on Baron we can do it even too if it's needed just heal me we have vision we have everything this is a low effort Baron now unless there is some secondary words I don't think we have a problem so you have to do that Baron Call, I see even in pro plays, uh, in lower uh, leagues, they don't go for the Baron even though it's quite obviously open and free, even in solo queue you'll see it most of the time. Now you can see a 4 level difference between me and their Nocturne, so we're at the point we're very far ahead and even though he stole my blue I actually got some cool ganks on bot lane and everything went right. You just have to look for these opportunities constantly and here I'm at the point that even though I got two vision words I need to sell them because I have so much gold uh, I actually need more space so we're going for the void stuff or the Rylis now we see I think void stuff at this point right, it doesn't matter. and now we're interested in sieging mid lane you should use your ult as such you cover no don't don't do it go here So, this is one way you can bait out people, if they follow mindlessly, so yeah. That's an easy way of finishing the fight, by going after a Twisted Fate ult from, well, Twisted Fate, I mean now till assault on the Twisted Fate. Now we can actually finish, and if there is an actual ult happening, I'm just gonna ult exactly where Jin is. Guys, towers. Okay, we need to run away. I no longer have mana, so that's a problem. The 
fun fact is that I can also use my E around here. But the mistake that I did is that I did not use uh, that I did not use a Q, so that I have the small Q. Okay, I have small Q here. Game ended. We all did fine. GG. But this is how you need to mostly play Tlia in terms of I don't know map awareness, macro, micro builds, masteries. I mean. Key points, some people that might have stuns for your W setup, you have in team fights the need to set up that space. You need to basically when you see let's say you have a twisted fit gold card, okay? In team fights, you wait for him to hit that gold card on a person, on a person that has no clans or no QSS and you W. You instantly kill that person because it's usually on a squish. If it's on a tank, well you still have a free WQE combo, but it's not necessary. So you basically have to start to red if you're against uh, champions that might murder you. I mean, you have to start topside, that's how I want to call it, because uh, if you have some word on bot side, you don't really have much problems. There are very few players or people, players that like Kindred, that can go to your, to their blue and turn to the pit of the either Herald or Drake and jump towards your red so that they can surprise you if you start on the top side as blue. And also, there are some kind of champions that can counter you, but most of the time you should be okay if you have a world somewhere smartly set up, by, either by you or by your team, or at their rights to see when their jungler is doing them or where they are following up next. So these are major things that you could work on micro and macro. The most important thing also, also every time, is to get that sweet, sweet jungler item, the lens to clear words easily, and uh, also some vision words. And the point is to actually try to do some early games on people that you can do that's when you have some cc setup or blue smite and uh, you have to scale nicely towards the core items and to do a nice wq combo on someone and kill him instantly or just do output massive aoe damage in fights get your stopwatch because you're going to be targeted and stay safe this is all the things that you need this is an entire tutorial just for you for jungle I really hope you liked this video, if you did please leave a share or like or subscribe or anything you want. Uh, I am grateful for anything and or from nothing at all, I'm just happy if you've seen this, so that's okay to me too. Now also if you want to join our community you can come on Discord and you can also check my Tilia guide on mobile fire, it's now featured apparently and I'm completely grateful for that as well. So see you next time guys and have a nice day, night, anything else you want, goodbye.